Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Michael Mann with Affiliate Rookie where I show you great ideas and great tools to grow your online business or to even start one. So in today's video, which is part of our how to do things in Influencer Talk, I'm gonna show you how to remove a contact from one list and I'm gonna show you how to add it into another one. So if you are a person who wants to add a contacts to multiple lists, you can do that with Influencer Talk. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. And I'm also gonna show you how to delete that contact permanently from your list, okay? So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. And if you wanna see more content like this video, hit the subscribe button. So let's jump into the back office of Influence Soft and let's get started. Okay, so we are logged on the back end of Influence Soft. And what I'm gonna do is show you three different processes you can do. The first one, I'm gonna show you how to take a contact and move them to another list. The second one, I'm gonna show you how to delete them from any list that you want to delete them, one at a time or manual, whatever you want. And third, I'm gonna show you how to delete a contact from all your lists. Basically, remove that contact from your subscribers list. Because again, some people will send you emails saying, hey, please remove me from all your lists. And even though you might've sent them an email for that particular list, you will have to remove them from all lists because they requested that. And again, it's very simple and very easy. So let's get started and I'm gonna show you how to do this. Now, first thing you do is you're gonna to go to contact, okay? And what this is gonna bring up all your list, every single list that you have, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna find that list where you have that contact person at, okay? So you're gonna go through all it and you're gonna find it, okay, here. There it is. So what you're gonna do is, you're not gonna click on the name of the list, you're gonna click on how many contacts in there, okay? So you click on that. And what this is going to do is bring up everybody that's on your list, okay? Everybody, okay? So what you do next, and what we're doing here, this is the first stage, the first thing we're doing is adding this contact to another list, okay? So that's what we're doing first, just FYI. Sorry, I didn't say it in the beginning. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this box here, and then what it's gonna do is gonna highlight this, okay? So then you click on this, and then it's gonna open another menu where you can edit, you can add, you can delete, you can send, and you can send sims, but what, and downloads. What you wanna do is you want to add, um, click on add list, and then that's gonna bring another menu down here. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this, and you're gonna see all of the lists that you have, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the list that you wanna add that person to, and then you just click on it, and then you hit add to leads, okay? And then it's gonna say at the bottom, it's been added to that particular um, contact, okay? So, and then if you want to make sure that person was added to your list, there's two ways of doing it. I mean, sorry, to this, the new list, there's two ways of doing it. You click on the person's email, okay? And then what you do is you go down here to list. And this is going to show you both lists that they were added to, okay? So for, say, for instance, you're still not in there and you want to make sure that, oh, you might, oh my God, did I really add it? So what you could do is you can go back to contacts Okay, and then you can go down to the list that you added it to, and you do it again, 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 you do the same thing. You don't add, you don't click on the, the name of the list, you click on this, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna see that person in that list. Now, you might have multiple people unless you have to look for it, okay? Now, say you want to remove a contact from your one list, okay? So we're gonna go back and we're gonna go to contacts, and then what we're gonna do is you are going to, there's two, there's, there's two ways you can do it. You can go to any, really there's one way to doing it. You can go to any list and actually, as long as they're in that list, you can remove them from that list. So for instance, this contact was added to the webinar, right? So we're gonna click on that. And then we're gonna be here. So what you're gonna do is you're going to click on the email, okay? And that's gonna open up this, and then you go to list. Okay, so these are all the lists that this email belongs to. So I wanna remove them from the webinar list. So I click on that, and it's gonna ask me, do I wanna remove it, and you hit yes. And that's how you remove them from a list. Again, you can go into any list that that contact's in and go to do the same process that I just showed you, and just go in there and remove them, okay? Now, the third thing I wanna show you is how to remove a contact from all your list at the same time, okay? So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you something. So I'm going to go back to contact, and then I'm going to go back here and I'm going to add this email, which is me, to back to that list and I'm gonna show you. So we're gonna do that really quick. We're gonna click on this, we're gonna go in here and then we're gonna add this real quick and then we're gonna add them to that list. Okay, okay. So I've added me back to that list, that, that um, webinar list. Now, what you do is you go in here and you, just to make sure, just again in the beginning I showed you, just to make sure on both lists, okay? 
I am on both lists. Now, if you want to remove one email from all your lists at the same time, this is what you do. So what you do is you go into any contact list that this person is on and then you, what you do is you would go into any list. Okay. Click on the, um, how many you have, and then you would click on that person's email. Then you would do is you go up here and you would click on this next to this green check button. The check button is really saying that they confirm that they opt in. So that means you can send emails to them to, for opting in. So you click on this little button right here. And this is going to bring up a menu. It has add to list. It has perform rules it has add process, open all this. But what you want is delete personal data. So you click on that and this will actually do you sure you want to delete personal data. You hit yes. And what it's going to do is it's going to put delete. It's going to give it a number. It's going to be example.com. And then what it's going to do, it's going to remove them from all the lists. As you can see, this person is no longer on this list. So to make sure, if you want to make sure what you can do is you can go into every single contact and look on every list to see if that person is. So if I go back here, there's nothing in here because I deleted that data, that particular email from all of my list at the same time. Simple as that. So there's nothing in here. Simple and easy. This is a really easy way of doing it. Now you are going to see an influence soft. It's going to show you that delete example thing. You can't get rid of that right now. They're working on getting that removed. I mean, sorry, they're working on a way to get that removed. So when you delete somebody, you all, it's not going to have a contact on your list. You're just going to see that delete in there. So just FYI. So this is really how you basically take a, a contact and put them in another list how you can remove them from a list and how to remove them from your complete contact lead list. Okay. So this is how you do it. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this video, hit the subscribe button and FYI, leave comments and let me know if this was an easy process for you to do. Cause I'd love to hear how people are doing when it comes to doing this series of how to do things in infinite soft. Okay. So this is Michael Mail with affiliate rookie. Thank you for watching my video and I will see you in the next one and you have a great day. Bye.